Well, y'all, it's finally here. My favorite holiday of the year, Thanksgiving. My cousin Johnny pops in to help me prepare this fabulous feast. We're starting with a little butter rub down for our roast turkey. Turn it so brown and crispy. And then it's on to one of my favorites, y'all, apple cranberry stuffing. Apples and cranberries, this is gonna be good, good, good. Then we make Johnny's famous pumpkin rum pie. Rum and butter, y'all. Now all we have to do is dig in. <laughs> y'all, this is Johnny Gabriel. Uh, one of my favorite cousins. She's got a fabulous bakery in Marietta, Georgia called Gabriel's Desserts. Desserts. Johnny and I are reconnecting, and I'm so excited. So how about it, Johnny? Let's get started on our roasted turkey. I've got us a 15-pound turkey, Johnny, that I thought we'd roast off in the oven. Mm -hmm. And um, I thought that we could make us like a, a butter paste. Mm -hmm. <laughs> butter, butter, good old butter. Yes, to rub on our turkey. Right. So what we're, mm -hmm. what I'm gonna need for you to do is if you would mince me up a couple of cloves of, of garlic mm -hmm. and a shallot. So we're just gonna kinda incorporate these with that butter. Come you want on two out cloves? of there. Yeah, please, like two cloves. Listen, y'all, Johnny's without a shadow of a doubt makes the best red velvet cupcakes you. you've ever put in your mouth. So I've stolen a recipe. That's good. And That's now fun. I call them mine. <laughs> you do? No, I don't. You know I'm kidding. I know. I'm about to get our butter softened. Now I'm gonna add one tablespoon of house seasoning to this. That's got our salt, our pepper, and our garlic. I use that at the store, at Gabriel's Desserts. Do they, you? They have a big container in the kitchen of it. All right, now Johnny, while you're doing that, I think mm -hmm. I'm gonna chop us a little parsley. When you're preparing food, you feel like you're, you're, you know, you're doing things for the ones you love and people and friends. You know, Johnny, I said it's the one thing that will give you immediate gratification. That's probably why you make cakes, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. So you got the shallot and the garlic, mm -hmm. and I've almost got the parsley minced fine enough We've got all this wonderful skin, and to me, if the skin is crispy, it's like the best oh, part of the turkey. Good. So we're gonna we're gonna rub it in our butter paste, and um, that skin is gonna get crispy. And I'm gonna go in there in that neck, and this butter. I'm not gonna worry about him being rubbed in too too good, Johnny. Okay. I want the bulk of it sitting right up here on top. So as it melts, it'll run down our whole Ooh, turkey. And turn it all good and brown. So we're gonna put it in this oven right here. All right. Just sit it on the bottom rack. Now we're gonna roast this turkey for a few hours until it reaches 160 degrees. So you'll wanna stick your thermometer in uh, the, the meatiest part of the turkey and make sure you stick it in the dark part because the dark meat takes longer to cook than your breast. Next, our apple cranberry stuffing, y'all. Come wait, on, Wait, 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 wait. This is how I remember you. <gasps> oh my goodness. Johnny, I have never seen this picture. That one. was one of my favorite dresses. I, I cannot believe this. Johnny, thank Isn't that you. Cute? This is my Aunt Trina. Trina was three years older than me. This is me in the middle, the uh, one ready. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Johnny right over here. Oh, I so love it. It was a wonderful time and I miss those days, but you know what, I'm glad we got the memories. Absolutely. If you would, if you would dice up the red bell pepper and the onion mm -hmm. and the celery, I'll probably peel the apple and chop it, but right now, what I wanna do is I wanna take some dried cranberries that I've Ooh. got. All right, so I'm gonna use one cup of dried cranberries. And I'm gonna cover them with two cups of chicken broth. The chicken broth is gonna rehydrate them. We're gonna melt our butter in our skillet. We're gonna add our bell pepper, our celery, and our onion. Y'all, one day I got this package in the mail. And it was from Johnny. And I opened it and it was a mink, mink, faux mink, mink, mink apron. 
You know, I think this is supposed to be like a kind of a naughty apron. I think you're supposed to wear it naked. I love these Granny Smith apples. I do too. So this, oh, I'm having such a good time being with you. Thank you, thank you, I'm loving it. You know, it. even though you don't get to see certain family members, you never stop loving them mm -mm. just because you don't get to see them. That's true. Yes, we're adding more memories right now as we speak. Absolutely, I'm loving it. Coming up, Johnny and I finish up our stuffing and get to mashing our potatoes, parsnips, and rutabagas. I had a pot much bigger than this. I'd be in big trouble here. <laughs> then Johnny shows me the way to pumpkin pie perfection. You're driving this boat, honey. And later, I whip up a glaze to top off our turkey. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. It's Thanksgiving, my favorite holiday of the year. And you know why that is? Why is that? Because you don't have to worry about that gift buying. Well, you know what? That's true. I added one can of cream of celery soup to my sauteed vegetables. Now I'm gonna just dump in my cranberries and chicken stock. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon goes in, and Johnny has beat our three eggs with some salt and pepper. Our stuffing is gonna be a Hawaiian bread that we have just bought from the deli. Mm -hmm. We cubed it up and we toasted it off. And this is gonna be just a wee little bit sweet. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna dump these, Johnny. And then we're gonna add those eggs and those eggs are gonna give it like a custardy texture. And I feel like everybody really might like this if they're looking for a little bit of change the in their stuffing. The cranberries, just wonderful, just speak of Thanksgiving. Yeah. All right. Um, put those eggs over in there, okie doke. We're gonna bake this off in you know, a 13 by nine by two pan. And I'm gonna spray this so it won't stick so badly around the edges. I want it to come out nicely. So we're just gonna pour that over in there, y'all. And we're gonna bake this for about 30, 40 minutes at 350 degrees. Look at those cranberries. Aren't they pretty? Mm -hmm. And the red pepper. Ooh, yeah. Just talk the about fall. Yes. Here, let me hold that bowl for you. All right, for thank you. you. So thank you. That bowl's as big as you are, girl. <laughs> so we've got red potatoes, we've got parsnips, and we've got onions, y'all. And we're gonna peel all these and get them. We're not gonna peel our potatoes because that, that skin's pretty. Oh, it's good, too. And it'll give interest in a little texture. Plus, they're good for you. Mm -hmm. So, all we're gonna do is quarter these up, and you just cut those in chunks. And of course, I'm gonna come down here with this rutabaga. You know, they've got a wax coating on them. And you talking about hard to cut, honey? Ooh, we're gonna these have to suckers, get one of those big knives. I'm telling you, there just ain't no easy way to do this. But they are so worth the effort. You think so? Oh, I can't wait to taste this then. Well, I just love, I love root vegetables. They are delicious and so good for you. We want our vegetables pretty much the same size. Okay. You know, so they'll cook. They'll all get done at the same time. Okay. And this is kind of like a carrot, you know, as far as it's cooking time. I'm about to get the skin off this bad boy. I'm glad you got that one. <laughs> I'm glad you, I did too, because you would never cook one, I'm afraid, if you, you'd gotten this job. And then I'm just going to cube this up. And then we'll cube up the onions. And we've quartered the potatoes, so in these go. And I'm going to, I'm going to put some salt in the water. All righty. Yeah, you did. And do we need to do a few yeah, more let's potatoes? Yeah, these potatoes if you'll help me okay, with them. Okay. Yes, I will. I'm slower than you are, Paula. No, you're not. All right, so you know what, Johnny? I Ooh, think we, we got were a little, little over here. ambitious with the water. Okay. So I'm just gonna come down here and I'm gonna, I'm gonna drain some of that water off. 
Then I can get the rest of these potatoes in there. So you're going to be cooking the next dish coming up, aren't you? Yes, I am. It's a delicious, delicious pumpkin pie. And you know, I was not a pumpkin pie fan. Growing up in Georgia, you ate a sweet potato pie. Yes. And I uh, think I like sweet potato pie. Ooh, I about did it. <laughs> don't lose our All potatoes. All of our work about went down the drain, sister. Oh, no, don't do that. But, yeah, that's better. Now, that won't take as long to boil. All righty. And we're just going to put these on right here. And when we these. come back, oh, Johnny's going to be cooking us up a pumpkin pie. Absolutely. Up next, y'all, Johnny makes a pecan praline topping for her pumpkin pie. I've never had a topping on a pumpkin pie. And then we start mashing our potatoes, parsnips, and rutabagas. You want it kind of chunky. Okay. I hope y'all are enjoying the show. And I want to hear from you. Tell me what recipes or videos you'd like to see me make by just leaving a short comment below. Now, let's get back to the show, y'all. Well, hey, y'all, I'm in here in the kitchen. It's Thanksgiving time at last. And this is my cousin, Johnny. And you're driving this boat, honey. Absolutely. Because Johnny's in the bakery business. She has Gabriel's Bakery in Marietta, Georgia. And you're getting ready to make us a pumpkin rum pie. Absolutely. Rum and butter, y'all. So you it. put me to work. I will do it. We started with a can of um, pumpkin puree, unsweetened. Uh -huh. And you can crack those three eggs for me. Okie does. Uh -huh. Get them cracked. And we're going to add a cup and a half of heavy cream. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. And you want me to just go ahead and dump those in there? Yes, absolutely. Okie and does. This is this is the pumpkin pie that swayed me from sweet potato pie. Uh-uh. You know, we always ate sweet potato pie. I that love was, sweet potato love pie. Love it, still love it. You know, the beauty of these kind of pies, y'all, is they're so easy. So we've got the eggs and the heavy and the cream. Heavy yeah. cream's gonna make it so good. And, and we want a third of a cup of sour cream in okay, there. Don't. We're gonna use a mixer on this, so okay. I'm just gonna stir a little bit. Okay. And I'll be putting the ginger, which is a teaspoon and a half mm -hmm. of ginger in it. And this yeah. smells so good. Doesn't it smell it, good? I love ginger. We know it's fall when we start getting the cinnamon and there the nutmeg and the cloves out. Okay. Teaspoon and a half of cinnamon. Smells so like Thanksgiving. Sure. And then is. we just want a pinch of uh, cloves. cloves and a pinch of nutmeg if you'll do that. This is the cloves. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Just remember, a little bit of clove goes a long, mm -hmm. long way. Okay. This is strong, y'all, so you'll want to be careful. And then we want a pinch of salt. Okay. We have so two tablespoons of melted butter, and we need two teaspoons of this vanilla. Mm -hmm. I need a cup of that brown sugar. We've got two tablespoons of dark okay. rum. I got that rum on my fingers. We'll tr we'll mix this here. Doesn't have to mix long. All right, this is mixed well enough. So taste it. it easier. Yeah, I'm gonna. Think mm. it's good. Ooh, Johnny. I taste the ginger, and that is so good. Talk to me about your pie crust. Right now, we're going to pour this in the pie shell. OK, let me help you. OK. You scrape and all. So you just dump. Oh. Well, if I'm going to do it at home, I just buy the mm -hmm. pie crust in the grocery store, uh -huh. because obviously, I don't have a whole lot of time, and they yes. work pretty well. So we're going to put this in the oven. Mm -hmm. We're going to bake it at 425 initially. Okay. We're going to bake it for 10 minutes. Then okay. you're going to turn the oven down to 300 degrees for about 35 or 40 minutes. OK. So, into the convection oven this goes, and because this is a convection oven, it cooks about 50 degrees higher than my standard ovens. So, we're going to cook this 50 degrees less. So, I'll have this on 375 for 10 minutes, then we're going to come back, turn it down, and let it finish baking off until it's set in the center, right? Right. And while while that is baking, uh -huh. we can do the topping. You see, the, the whipped cream is delicious on it, but then you put on this pecan praline topping, and it is. I've never had a topping on a oh, pumpkin pie. Let's get some butter in here. So it's two tablespoons, a fourth of a cup of this brown sugar, dark brown. Half a cup of these pecans here. Good, and you just stir it up, and it starts to bubble. Oh, you want to see the cutest thing. You know, I went to wow. Williamsburg. Uh -huh. And um, I had a chance to work in the in the kitchen, mm -hmm. in the old kitchen wow. from the 1700s. This is, this is their tasting spoon. 
and they would keep their tasting spoon around their neck mm -hmm. so that they could taste. Isn't that clever? Very clever. When you initially put your butter in, y'all, you want to watch your temperature because that butter will burn, burn on you real quick. And it doesn't taste nearly as good once you burned it. All right, so now what are we going to well, do with this? Once that's going to cook about five minutes. Uh huh. All right, so you think that's cooked that's, long yeah, enough? That should be cooked long so enough. And just spread it out on that gonna... foil. And it's going to harden up. Okay. And we'll break it up in little pieces so that everybody gets some. All right. So that's great. We're underway with your pie. So now all we have to do is finish up our rutabagas, parsnips, right. and potatoes. And they are right here. Oh, that's good. And they're done. They're mm -hmm. nice and soft. Now all we're going to do, Johnny, is take these and drain them. And uh, these are just nothing to finish up. And then you want to give them a couple of shakes, mm -hmm. you know, to get the water out of them. And dump them back in our pot. And now I'm going to add an eight ounce package of cream cheese, a little more salt, half a stick of butter, okay. Johnny, and some fresh black pepper. Now, Johnny, you can start smashing, girl. Do you want it kind of chunky? If I had a pot much bigger than this, I'd be in big trouble here. <laughs> All right, you ready to taste? I am so ready to taste. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> here, That's... you can have a taste right. there, and I'll have a taste here. Oh. Mm. Oh, man. Isn't that yummy? Mm-hmm. That was so good. Up next, I make a glaze that makes our turkey just glisten. Also, Johnny tops off the pie. And we just don't know where to begin, y'all. I got a little taste y'all of everything on that fork. Mm. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. Johnny, I can't believe it, honey, but we about got our meal put together. All, all right, right, now all I have to do is make the glaze and for our turkey, and I'm going to use two tablespoons. Oh, gosh, our pie so looks great. good. It is so good. Uh, so all I've got to do, y'all, is make the glaze for our turkey. And to do that, I'm going to melt a couple of tablespoons of butter. I'm going to use three-fourths a cup of apple cider and a half a cup of maple syrup. Thanksgiving is in the air. Yes. All right. We'll be in our fourth... tummy in a minute. Huh? It's gonna be what? In our tummy in a minute. It sure is. You know, you take hours to prepare all this stuff and ten minutes to knock it all down, can't you? That's right. All right. So that was a fourth of a cup of brown sugar, and I'm gonna use two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. And just want to reduce that down a little bit. Now we have got our Hawaiian bread stuffing. We've got my cousin Johnny's beautiful pumpkin pie with praline crunches to go on top and fresh whipped cream. And we've got our mashed potatoes that have parsnips in it and rutabagas and onions. Mm, it's it's going to be so good. It's going to be so good. Now, we just have to top it off with the pecan praline. Ooh, that's perfect, Johnny. All right, are we and ready to And look at my glaze it? reduced, and you see how it's getting syrupy. It's going to be delicious with right. our turkey. Johnny, why don't we take all this down here? Okay. Uh, and you cut our pie down here. Ooh, okay. And I've got some pretty green stuff. While Johnny starts to slice up the pie, I garnish up the turkey with a little Italian parsley, some sage, and I'm gonna throw on some cranberries. Gonna peep some little cherry tomatoes for color. You wanna taste my pie? I, girl, I wanna taste your pie. I wanna make sure you get some pecans mm. in that bite. Okay, you ready? <sighs> yes. All right, open wide. Is that good? I wanna get a bite. It's the best pumpkin pie I've ever tasted. Is it really? It's so good to me. Yes, it is. Mm. I hope you like my turkey. I will. As well as I love that pie. I'm going to love I it. I could eat that whole pie by myself. All right, you've got this so pretty. Look Isn't at that. Isn't it pretty? Isn't it just, 
It's like a picture. You're it? just artistic. I never <laughs> knew that. All right, look at here. And oh, look at that. Just ooze down that turkey. Mm -hmm. and Right now, I'm bathing my turkey. All right. This is our stuffing, apples and cranberries. This is gonna be good, good, good. Yes, it's gonna be so good. And this glaze is gonna give our skin a sweet maple flavor, Johnny. Are you ready for parsnips and? Yes, this? I'm gonna slice our turkey. And I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna make a cut this away. And I'm gonna come down here. Ooh, and now I should get a plate. Get close. Honey, he's wanting to fly up here into my mouth. All right, now let's see. Here's our pie. Mm -hmm. Here's your pie. Mm -hmm. And let's dig in. All right, now I've got some of the potatoes and parsnips and rutabagas and a little bite of stuffing, a little bite of turkey. Here, let's have a little bite of pumpkin pie. Mm. <laughs> By all means. By all means. I got a little taste y'all of everything on that board. Mm. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if y'all enjoyed this week's full episode Friday, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, friends. <laughs>